This is why I'm recording, because I might lose frames every now and then. <clears throat> and we're losing connection. We're losing time here. Hello? Hello? Hello. 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 Oh my god. This is like the biggest time loss. Fucking kill everything is falling apart, dude. I'm like really close to just saying fuck. Rune if we got a fucking scroll, bud. I don't understand. Just wanna know
about three, four years. <clears throat> That's good. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I really do not want to be sniffling this entire fucking run. understand why people fucking complain so much when they speed run, dude. Everything fucking goes wrong. to scratch my nose, time loss. I love how they made it easier to fucking do uh... What what is uh farming? They made it easier to farm. So all I have to press is just one button now at the end. Well I have to sell runes, but I just have to press one button as opposed to two whenever I restart a run. It makes farming while I do these run, uh, while I do these five minutes speed runs here. Take camera off, bon boss animation off, power saving on, ending notice on, reduce quality on. Is that it? Yes, report.
time lost. You are wasting turns by saving her. Just kill things. Teon, you f ha! I'm gonna fuck you, dude. And we, got, and we got level 4 from that. Put in Lucian. Oh, this is so much time. We're not. We're not catching up. I'm just going to be like 20 minutes. Too, because I could save a lot of time later in the run.
just need four fatals. Just ignore the red team. Just ignore the red As long as we're not 10 minutes over, I'd say we're safe for a PB. I just want to know. Oh my god, that might have been the clutch fucking stun. Holy shit, that was close. Ugh, this is not good. This is not fucking good. If I didn't do so fucking well in my PB, man. Fucking make me do this?
We're gonna lose so much fucking time in Kabir runes, dude. There's no way we save four, save four fucking minutes. We might save like a couple minutes, but four minutes? I don't know. Depends on how well we run through Kabir. Yeah, I'm 
sound. Oh my god, we're losing more time. No! Oh my fucking god. Save me from the animal I've become. Oh my god, I didn't know there was script. Pay attention, James. I swear to god if you don't if you don't fucking stop fucking around, I'm going to beat your ass. This is the fucking video I'm going to be uploading to uh fucking YouTube. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube. And I'm fucking around, dude. Just nonchalantly lost four minutes. I'm about to lose more minutes. I say I lose another minute. I, I think I lose another minute. I should just reset and start the whole thing. But I, I can still make the time back. I think. I think I can. Lemongitis, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying your time here. I'm certainly fucking not. Maybe I should put the fatal runes on uh, Lucian. Because he does more. Ooh, someone just got fucking druid? Oh, dude, he got the good one. Oh my gosh. Okay, we aren't losing that much time. Can we stud these? I think my next time I run this, I'm gonna put um, put the fatal runes on. Their script, James. Stop checking Facebook.
Hey, there's six. That's not runes. Hello. Actually, yes, we are ready to summon. Need a lot of food, so we're hoping for one stars, actually. That's not runes! Fuck, dude. We only got three runes? That sucks. We get one set of blade. Come on, baby, now. Let me look at you. I just wanna know. I'm making so many mistakes this room. Starting to wonder if it is possible to make up the time I've lost. It is at the very end, but I don't think it's like. Unless I try really sketchy tactics. Fucking cute! What's going on, guys? How are you guys doing today? You guys cute? There's no way I'm making five minutes of that. Five minutes of that.
it looks good, but I mean, I'm not sure it'll keep looking good, you know what I mean? The, the boss actually, oh, Dune, uh, Dune a floor. Dune a floor. A floor. Sacramento's local businesses hey, help make follow. this city Welcome super to... natural. Like these ghost hunters. I hope you, you enjoy your time. That's a radio to speak to. Not a shake I just say. Just a cat really on here. Uh, that's hilarious. At Facebook. Uh, we lost time on our PB because of the boss of this. Sacramento? Now, the boss of uh, Mount White Rigon is doable without grinding, but it's like a 50 50 chance. Um, so I guess, I mean, I guess we'll find out. But it does seem like we're making up time. Uh, we won't be on time, sadly, but we'll be making up time. Dependent on whether or not the boss goes well. Fucking cute. Iceland. What about you guys? You guys want to go to Iceland? I think you do. You don't. You might not know it, but you do. We can save a couple minutes here. Just don't attack. Still got a level 8 grind after this. I'm gonna try something though. Music is loud and can't hear you well? I'll turn it down. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, it was louder than usual. I'm sorry. Well, at least it's good music, huh? Lucian. Oh, there comes Lucian. Calming. Yeah, I went with a different kind of playlist today. This isn't usually what I play. Ooh, look at that. That's a gold split. <laughs> it's an ugly gold split, but it's a gold split. Uh, I get it. I don't know what runes I have. I need four for Bernard. Because he does more damage basically. Eight grind usually while we level eight grind we get more runes for Teon, but we're gonna see if we can do Tillane Forest. If we can do Tillane Forest, it changes the route a little bit. We could do it easily. If we can't do it easily, then it might be better to still do the grind for level eight. But if we do Tillane Forest before we have to grind for level eight, then it just makes Early 
early time, but actually in the end we're going to be doing, um, what is it, Garen Forest uh, on Hell? So inevitably we have to do Garen Forest on, on our... So far, so good. We get these runes because uh, we're idiots. You don't need any focus runes. In them. Focus runes, if you want, if you want your fairy to land, uh, what's it called? But here's the thing: you're not gonna be using your fairy or your Lucian for a long time after you get level eight, anyways, because you get Bernard and Shannon, and they take those places. Yeah, I think it's better to do Garen Force here. We're not gonna lose that much time because we're gonna we have to do these two anyways. Eventually. If we fail this, I'm gonna be so pissed. Stop attacking the one that has counterattack! You fool! Alright.
And once I uh, get five, uh, get five nat five, five LD nat fives, one on every uh, superfluous. I think that's the word I'm looking for. One on each um, server that's not global. Um, I'll give away the account. I did see that and it honestly just made me salty. Wait, wait, we might not actually. I just remembered that we use uh, challenges for level 8 grind. So after we do uh, Garen Forest it's hard, we uh, it's a use symptoms. challenges to level up. It's tiredness. So we might not lose that much time. Difficulty concentrating. But we'll lose a little bit of time because we tried telling Forrest. Or at least I'm expecting to. It depends. What is this? Pass hard. We don't know what it is. Next stage. Tell your healthcare professional right away if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Do not take with MAOIs. Tell your healthcare professional about your medications. Yeah, there are houses that are cheaper than that account. Depression medications to avoid a potentially life-threatening condition. Increased risk of. But there aren't houses as lucky as that account either. Like pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners. Manic episodes or vision problems may occur in some people. May cause low sodium levels. The most common side effects were nausea, constipation, and vomiting. Ask your doctor if it's time for a change to Trintelix. That's pretty nuts though, man. All those Nat 5s, he spends a lot of money, I guess. I mean, I guess. There's no way, I mean, I know he spends that money. There's no way he has all of those units without spending a shit ton of money. What is this, six, five, five? Oh no, we lost a lot of time. We lost a lot of time doing Tulane Forest. All the time that we made. Red is so menacing, dude. But the run is about to get really technical. Um, as soon as level 8 grind is over and Monster Trainer 101 starts, the run gets really technical. And it's all about how fast you can do. I don't think we'll be able to make up the time that we need to make up, but we'll, it, uh, there's going to be a lot of explaining to do. Right, so get ready for that. Whether we are able to finish this uh, or not, I'm going to um, 
move on. And new challenges, build with level 8. So lucky. Don't pick up the phone, James. It'll disconnect. Ooh, food. Return. Challenges. Achievement. Alright, so we just unlocked Monster Hunter, Monster Trainer 101. This is where everything gets fucking juicy, dude. Fucking juicy. So we check this out. Alright, we have to get uh, an attack monster to level 15, which means we're getting Lucian to level 15 because it's faster, it's easier. We don't have to spend as much resources getting him to level 15 as we do Lapis. Since we were lucky and got a lot of 1 stars, we should be able to do that. Spend a, spend a 2 star. We need... We don't need Royd anymore, so we just say goodbye to him. Get this, 30 energy, woohoo, that's what we needed. So, uh, we needed the energy, we equip. This is what we save runes for. We take this rune off, and then we put it back on. And then we go over here and we take this rune off, and then we put it back on. And then we plus three this because it's green. You can plus three any rune. They just want you to plus three a blade and, and uh, fatal rune if I remember correctly. This is a three star attack rune, it'll help. Let me plus three it. Like I said, you could, you could decide whatever. I mean, you're probably gonna have better runes. Luckily, hopefully you get better runes than this. I remembered correctly so now we set these for the mana for the energy but we accept this because this is gonna help us boost our Shannon as much as possible with those uh, Angelmon now we do Giants B1 to start uh, our Bernard and Shannon collection You've seen one LD Lightning on your account? I've seen two. I got Chris and uh, Faye, so I'm pretty lucky with my LD I'd say. Probably gonna lose time here. Not as much time though. Probably actually we're gonna make up time. Maybe. I don't think it's gonna take plus five minutes to do trainer one. Um, if you want to do it faster, you just skip sideways the side monsters. <laughs> the good thing about this run is like while you're autoing, you can restart uh, runs on on like a side Amarna. 
Nice. Congrats on Amarna, man. I'd say that's better than getting Faye and Chris. They're so um, offensive that really you can't do much with um, Faye and Chris unless you have Varun. So we do this. That starts up Giant's Keep. Um, side quests. Uh, f sell. We don't need any despair runes. Nope, that's not what I wanted to click. So this opens up Giant's Keep Master. Then we get um, Shannon. Now you have to be really careful because I have lost a run because I accidentally fed Shannon. Monsters used, item drop info. I don't remember which one I need to do, so I do both. We accept Shannon for who she is. Beautiful woman. Beautiful little pixie. Shannon. Three. And we put these green runes on Shannon immediately. Because Shannon needs them. That's not what I wanted to do. Eventually we'll be doing that. In fact, we'll be doing that right now, but we want to engrave first. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do yet, but we want to do that eventually so it doesn't hurt. Engrave. Now we plus three all of them because why not? We'll get her stats. And then you're done, honestly, you're done with Shannon for the rest of the run. He doesn't need any better any more than this. You can if you have extra time and if you want to, plus six the side runes. Or plus nine the side the two four six runes. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Really. Yes, give me that juicy HP. It's weird that they give attack on these runes. I guess these are supposed to be for the, uh... Oh wait, we didn't want to do that. Oops. There's a plus in everything. Um... I guess these are for the Water Fairy King, because you're not supposed to know any better. So it's good that you get like bonus attack we need to put the better runes on Teon because we are going to be using Teon for the rest of the rest of the Nope, that's not what I wanted to do yet unluckily um and then we have to actually we have to farm Garen Hell for uh Garen Hard I mean so we need a slot 4 we're going to farm two three star slot 4s but the best one on this is where it can make or break this this uh this um split because this could take forever or it could take no time at all you could get really lucky and get two slot threes really fast if you could do hell here do hell i i have never been able to do hell yet at this point in the game so we didn't put shannon in where Lucia is so that's pretty sad because Shannon would be really good. We're going to prepare and we're going to do Shannon next. No dice. Prepare. Shannon. <laughs> oh shit. We don't have two stars to evolve her. That sucks. That's what we want. That's why we keep Royd. If you can't keep Royd, it's okay. Um, but if you can keep Royd, perfect. 
Too bad the fairy isn't a two star. Otherwise, I'd say, dude, just go ahead and use the fairy. The fairy should be a two star, really, but. They decided to not do that. Three star? No, but we do need those, so we'll take them. We need them for hopefully getting a summoning a two star so we can um, evolve Shannon. Normally, what I would do is I would give Shannon the red uh, Angel Mon to get her to 20, evolve her, and then give her the yellow. The wind angel mon that'll give her up to like level 12 or something like that which is a really good bonus or a really good step upgrade um and then i give lapis the blue angel mon you can't waken him though so it doesn't help as much but if you really want to go out of your way to awaken them it'll take longer i don't suggest it but you could do it it might be beneficial, I guess. There's a three star. We'll take it. We'll use it. Need another. For Monster Trainer. At least the waiting game if you want to if you're comfortable doing manual you'll save a lot of time because you'll be able to play better than the ai nice so we return challenge monster trainer nice we get a mystical scroll whatever it doesn't matter Skill up, we get the fatal rune. So this is why we saved both of these little dudes. Because we want to skill the one of them up. And we get better runes for Lapis. That is the biggest part of this. Summon. Give me two star. Nice, we got two star. And it's a pixie, so we get a skill up. Nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the red 20. Going to use these two to evolve. And we use this. To... Oh, they're already awakened. I forgot about that. We get to level 20 already, which is great. That getting lightning on these uh, um these power-ups is the best luck you could possibly get. So we get these beautiful fucking fatal runes. These fatal runes are so good. Just get all of them. And we just equip all of them for now. Cause there's really no reason not to they have really good bonus stats uh sub stats so sadly we're gonna have to get rid of them for um uh a blade set that's two three stars because it's gonna give a lot of mana and then we get that for food now we we're not done with monster trainer until we do this want to make sure that we're doing it until we get Bernard when we get Bernard is when we're done with monster trainer 101 
We do Tillin Forest, and then we do the tiny little bit of uh, the, the Blade one to get the mana, but we're pretty much done with Monster Trainer 101. If I keep saying Monster Hunter, I'm sorry. Um, it's a good game. You should play it. That's all I have to say about it. We focus on because we don't care about the side ones, even though we just one shot them. Because we don't need despair runes. No. B3. Good. Once we accept Bernard, is whenever I split, which means we'll probably not lose or gain any time. We'll probably lose time. It'll probably take us longer than 20 seconds to do Giant's Keep. B3. Because of these fucking assholes. God, I hate Radeon. If we have to use 10 crystals, I'm going to be so pissed. You shouldn't have to use 10 crystals here, but you, I might have to, because I'm really unlucky. Yep, I'm gonna have to use it. Fuck off! Holy shit! Sorry for yelling. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't split yet, James. You haven't. Jesus, we lost so much time because of B3. I just split early too, a dingus. But remember, we uh, we already did some of Tulane Forest, so we're gonna be early. We're gonna be further on that. We too much though. It really doesn't. We save like 50 seconds in our next Dude, did you just seize me?
This is the team for the rest of the run, by the way. If you can find a better early healer than Teon, then by all means, get Konamiya if you really want. But getting Konamiya is heavily reliant on what day it is, so good luck, I guess. If you're lucky enough, you'll summon it, but I have, like, played with the idea of buying a magic shop just in case... You know you could buy two stars and stuff like i said you don't need focus because you don't use any of the monsters that you're using It's, I mean, if there was a way to get Lapis to 15. There's an easy way to get Lapis to 15 instead of Lucian. That would be so dope, but. Because you get, you use all those monsters to get Lucian to 15. Just so you could move on in Monster Trainer, but then you never use Lucian again. few though. Oh fuck you, we don't need two stars anymore. Well we need two stars because eventually we get Rainbow Mon to four star Shannon? Shannon's the only monster that we 4-star in this round. You could probably skate by without- You know what? We'll try. I don't really want to try because she gets the 25 so soon. So we just 4-star her and then give her all the experience. Just to make her stronger, it's worth it, I think. If it's not worth it, you save a shit ton of time. Because there's a really big push before you finish Feynman. Because you do a little bit of, um... You know, after you finish Feynman, 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 you get these challenges. And, um... They're all based on doing Feynman a certain way. But they give really good, uh... Really good rewards. So we do those before we finish the game. And that's the big push split that'll be coming up but that's not for another hour
it's pretty much smooth sailing from here. So we're just gonna be chilling. I'm gonna be lurking my own stream pretty much. If there's anything that I need to explain, then I'll explain it, but pretty much until we get the blade runes. Okay, so we're gonna get blade runes. We're gonna get blade runes from finishing Tulane Forest. Uh, we're gonna put two blade runes on Lapis. We waited to six star um, to plus six all of Lapis's runes because eventually we're gonna be plus nining or two four six, and we're gonna six. We're gonna plus six the one three fives while we do the two four six if we have extra mana. Um, usually we have extra mana though. If you're lucky, it, you it won't take up all your mana. If you're unlucky, it will. And then we're truly done with Monster tr Monster Trainer, by the way, after we do the plus, ni uh, plus nining 246. Ooh, that's unlucky. We're not going to use crystals to do this because we need to save crystals for uh, Feynman because that's how we get through the last few levels of Feynman is using crystals. So from here on out, we don't use any more crystals. I don't use any more crystals for that reason. Because I want as many crystals as possible to finish Feynman. Because I don't want to be grinding until all my monsters are um, amazing. You know what I mean? I mean, I look for bare minimum just to make the run faster. And I find that it's faster if... Uh, usually Bernard and Tion will get level 25, but I won't 4-star them. And Shannon gets like level 17 by the end of the run. So... Um, four star levels up. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe like 12 actually. So it might be better to leave her 20, um, level 25 because of stats and how they work in this game. Um, that being like once you, uh, six star a monster, I mean evolve a monster, the stats get lower than they were when they were maxed. So... This is this is where we have to actually pay attention to stats and how they rolled on the on the runes. So we want crit rates, so we're gonna engrave over this. There's no crit damage, there's no crit rate on that either. There's crit rate on that. There's one crit rate on that. We don't wanna get rid of crit damage. I think we get rid of we suck it up and we get rid of the slot six and now we upgrade everything to plus nine but we need to uh well we have 134,000 mana right now hopefully we won't have to use more than that but it'll be more likely we have a hundred thousand sitting in our bank because of one of the things that we did one of the challenges that we did so that's a good like retainer to have don't forget about that when you're running. Because I've forgotten and thought, oh, fuck, the run's over. Because I can't plus six. It's not even over if you can't plus nine these. Because all you get is uh, two-star Rainbow Mon. And if we decide that Shannon isn't, doesn't need to be four-starred, um, then it doesn't matter in the first place. Because we only use those Rainbow Mon to six-star Shannon. So if we're lucky enough and we find out that we don't need a four-star Shannon, I'm going to try this run to not have to four star shannon i'm just gonna keep her at level 25. um if if we decide that we don't need to four star shannon it's gonna save a lot of time because the big push is not only just doing uh garen forest hell for the 30 crystals but it's also getting shannon to a proper level so she could tank um tank more hits if we could maybe get the mana to plus six her 246 slots then we could probably just not have to force star her so there's still a lot to be like to figure out about this run about this uh route um inevitably it's gonna be i i, I feel like it's gonna be optimized quickly just kind of gonna kind of take away from the runs but I still th I'm going to have fun routing this game. Oh, we finished Tulane Forest. 
fuck, I don't know how much time we lost. But this is all stuff that we're supposed to do while hide any ruins. So, ruins. So. Unlucky. And this is why it sucks because powering up could take forever and it could also take a lot of mana. Resistant. We want to be uh, faster than Teon, so speed is okay, but we also don't want to be faster than Shannon. So, we don't want too much speed. And the reason we don't want to be faster than Shannon is because we want Teon to um, give us uh, another turn after we, uh, after we move. And the only way that that can really work is if we move right before Teon. Uh, the only time it doesn't work the way you want it to is when um, you use your third skill on Lapis, you'll suck up more, um, more m attack bar. So usually, and we want crit rate here because we don't have crit rate in slot four, and crit rate is better than crit damage in this in this run because it's more um, reliable. Didn't get crit rate, but flat attack isn't that bad because it makes our base attacks that aren't critting hit harder. Here we want crit rate more than crit damage. We're gonna cry if we get crit damage. But we're not going to cry too much. We only got plus one crit rate, which is really sad, but we still got more crit rate. So we're not going to complain. We cry if we get crit damage, though. We cry internally, not externally. Okay, we're crying. This is just, I mean, a formality, really. If we get attack, great. If we get crit damage, great. It doesn't matter. We just plus six it because we can. Or we, you know, do as much as possible. I don't think we will. We go to challenge. We get the 100,000 for equipping. We get the rainbow on. And we're done. And we move on. Hydeni Ruins. More two-star Rainbow Mon, so you don't need to do the plus nine thing. But I mean, you're plus star, you're plus, you're you're upgrading your runes anyways, so I just you might as well do it. Hello, what does that say? Exodus. You plays. I think that's what it says. I use Twitch Dark, and your name came up as Black. I'm not sure which. I'm just gonna call you Exodus. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. This is a uh, we're we're playing through the red splits because this is a sort of explanation of why we do certain things in this run. I'm gonna be uploading this this run to uh, Facebook. I mean Facebook, YouTube. I'm going Gucci, dude. I'm glad you're Gucci. That's what I like to hear. Speed one, speed run question mark. Yeah, so um, I started this route about a month ago, and uh, what it is is we're trying to get the uh, tutorial, uh, the tutorial LD scroll from Feynman as fast as possible without using any uh, reps and nat fives if you are lucky to summon. There's no events allowed in this run, and there's no um, money spent allowed in this. So, it's just something that only I'm doing right now, but hopefully other people will end up doing. 
Tutorial scroll, you know how like whenever you finish Feynman for the first time you get an LD? You get a... Uh... Yeah, that's it. That's that's all I'm talking about. There's really no way to, you know, say the Feynman LD scroll, I guess, is the best way to say it. See right there how Tion gave Shannon another turn? That's because of my third skill absorbing so much um, attack bar. It's cool, Exodus. Exodus. It's cool, man. We're all new at one point. If you have any questions about the game in general, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer the questions. Um, I'm here, man. A lot of this run is just mute noise and there's not me not not much to talk to talk about so like I said if you have any questions I'm here to answer to the best of my abilities I'm only mid game personally on my main account so it's not like I'm too far how do you all right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, press play and watch it play itself like what's it about what is summoners war about I don't even know. I, I didn't pay attention to the story, so I can't really say myself. This game is more about the collection of monsters and the strength of your- and, and constantly increasing the strength of your monsters, more so than it is about the story. So while you're playing through the game, just enjoy the story and read it. Um, that's one thing that I can recommend is reading through the story will actually help you get a better gauge of what you're supposed to be doing in the story. So that I can tell you as a matter of, like, as a matter of fact. RPG games are great. Uh, I'm totally with you there. The story, from what I remember, is like, oh man, these monsters are acting weird. Check it out. And then you find out that these, these big bad dudes are like, oh man, I'm gonna manipulate the monsters for evil. And then you're like, you can't do that, dude. Fuck off. And they're like, no, you fuck off. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Just play through the game, man. You'll really enjoy it. Right now, all the, all, the, all I can say for advice is, just play through the game and, and read what they got to say. Uh, are you going for five star light or dark from fam uh, Famine Mountain? Yeah, more or less. I'm trying to get to that LD scroll as fast as possible without using the help of events, uh, the help of reps, and the help of money. Just to make it challenging and give it a competitive edge so other people can do it too and actually, and it actually be a competitive speed run. As opposed to, oh, who paid the most money? That's the fastest run. What do you have questions about? Um, me, really, the only questions I have about the game are what I should room the monsters, with, how I should room Otaku, four two two three. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy time. Yeah, that's pretty much the only questions that I have about this game. Is like, what runes are best for each monster? And at this point in the game, I can kind of gauge what is best without having to ask other people. But you. Whenever you play a game, the more you play it, the more you understand it. And, and the reason I say is I, I will give you the best advice I can possibly give you is because people who have played the game longer will, auto will just automatically have a better understanding of the game and can give better, well-rounded advice than I can. So I try my best to give the best advice, but obviously someone's going to be able to tell you better. Someone else is going to be able to tell you better. Make Bernard speedy if you haven't. Yeah, I already put Bernard on um, uh, Swift runes. Like that much, I already know. 
I'm talking like high level monsters that you don't get until later on in the game. Like the new druid, for instance. I don't know how to ruin the new druids. But I know how to ruin pretty much the other monster, all the other monsters. How do you know about the druids if you're only level 3 though, my dude? Ooh, someone's memeing me. I split like 10 seconds early. Accidentally. Big goof. May or may not be playing with you a little bit. I'm getting the inkling, dude. I'm getting a feeling, man. Did you talk faster? Gosh darn. Dang nabbit, dude. These fatal runes are a lie. They're not good. You got one day. Damn, dude. Nice. Congrats on the truth. Yeah, I know about it. I know a little bit about it. I haven't done too much looking at the druids because I want one, and if the more I look at it, the more I'm gonna want it, and it's just gonna. I think fire druid is uh, best tbh. A lot of people are saying the wind one is best, but I can't say personally, so I'm just gonna take your word for it. I know that the fire one would be good for toa. Because of the continuous damage. That it has on, I think it's skill two. I am not ready for free rune removal. I only have 1.8k, 8 million mana. Big oof. My friend got a win one fire is underestimated ATM, but once they nerf them because they're basically broken, fire will take over. I don't think they'll nerf them. I think they're at a really good place. I think they're at a really good place where they are. I think they're supposed to be really strong because they want them to be really strong. I don't think they're broken personally. But like I said, I haven't spent much time looking at them. I've only seen them used by like G3 players and stuff. Like watching Barian use his wind. Barian's another player. Um, I think the fire one is definitely a close second. The, the light one is hands down the best one that there is. The light one is fucking insane. I have checked out the light one. Yeah, but you only turn into beast mode after you use your third skill, right? Or if you die on some of them? Like the wind one, if you die, you turn into beast mode with like 30% health, right?
You're memeing me. There's no way, is it? First skill is both modes. Your first skill doesn't turn you. That's weird. I don't remember that, but you might be right. You have one after all. You also did say Kappa, so I don't know if I could take you seriously here. I have trust issues because of Kappa. Hey, Mr. Programmer. Welcome to the stream. Hello. How you doing? What is this? It is Sumner's War. LD farming? Kind of. I'm trying to get to the LD scroll. As fast as possible. It's, uh, as fast as possible without using reps, without using money, without using the events, and without using nat fives if you get lucky and summon a nat five. Possible. <laughs> if you want a better explanation of this run, I'm going to be cutting and editing this this uh I'm recording right now. I'm gonna be editing, um, editing this uh, this video so that people can watch the speed run and, and sort of get a grasp of what it is really, how it works, and what's best and, and the tech technicality behind it. Um, I'm probably gonna be doing a voiceover though, so what I'm saying right now is just for us. So shh, I love you. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do a voiceover or not. So if, if you're hearing this and you're watching this on YouTube, I love YouTube. Dark Druid is best. I haven't read Dark Druid at all. I just know that dark. I know that light Druid is nuts. You better love me. Yeah, they are going to see chat. Yeah, that is going to be helpful for TOA. That's what I was saying earlier. I think Fire Druid is going to be good for TOA. Where did my Bernard go? What's going on here? Tion, you're slacking, dude. Revive him. Yeah, so what happens is, as far as I'm aware, third skill is what turns them into beast form. Second skill is what turns them back into man, um, man form. <laughs> cool idea for a run. Thank you. I think it's a cool idea, too. I hope a lot of other people start running this. I, I really want there to be a speed run, um, like a side speed run community for uh, Summoner's War because I play this game every day and um, it's the only it's the only game that I've started like that I speed run so far. So I would like it to prosper. <laughs> You're doing the Ginger Licious challenge. No summoning until GB10 and DB10. Dude, you're going to have so many scrolls by then. Oh, okay. So you can use the third skill too. So you could be beast form until your third skill is back up and use that. You summon a mystical by mistake? If it was by mistake, man, I'll keep it. It'll be just between us and whoever watches this YouTube video. And whoever's in chat right now. It's just between us. Just between us, man. You're fine. That's really useful for GB10. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Just don't use it. Just don't use it. Just pretend it doesn't exist. You went to storage? What is it?
Wind Undying. Okay. I don't remember what Wind Undying does, but... I'll take your word for it that she's good for you. Um, because if it's that turn, you have to attack, at least I think so. I'm not really 100% on that one, but only because I haven't really looked into that. If you turn back to human on uh, your first skill, um, that'd be pretty lousy because bear form is pretty strong. I believe it gets like a passive 50% attack bar. I mean, not attack bar, but attack buff. Oh, I think that might be the only blue, uh, only be the blue one, so I don't know. Like I said, I haven't ridden enough on it. So, me and you, we're just we're just talking right now. We're probably talking gibberish. That doesn't make any sense. It's not. Only transform if you second skill. Okay. This your program is kind of bad. dude what are you healing for don't do that bud you're wasting my time Okay, what's going on? I, I was uh, paying attention to the game real quick. Um, yeah, it's lousy. That's why you save your second skill. If you use it already, you wait until it refills to use Beast Form. Um, but really good. But Bear's really good. It's very OP. Still not sure how to ruin mine, though. Got to look into it a bit more later on, how you got one. I advise to spare Will if you don't have Will. Energy, make him uh, speed, HP, HP. Okay. I was thinking he would be a good speed crit rate HP monster. Uh, the fire one. Depending on his um, his uh, percentages, but at least. I'm pretty sure he has good uh, percentages on his first, so that's why I say crit rate. I might be wrong though. It's not worth really good runes on him. What the fuck just uh... Oh, it died. My tablet died while it was plugged in. That's bad. Whatever, it's a cheap tablet. It's the $50 Google Fire. Uh, Kindle Fire. Exodus Q plays. Hey, man, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you have a good time here. But that famous YouTuber, is he like G3? Because you're not going to see the full potential of like damage output unless it's like a G3 player. Hey, don't <gasps> kill my lapis. Excuse my hiccup. He's really known? Okay, but who was it? If you tell me that Demon, Evasional, 
did this, I'm gonna be really sad. Sean, oh, Sean B. Sean B is not... Sean B doesn't have the best rune quality, though. Like, he's... I think he's, a, what, a G2 player? So it's not bad rune quality, but it's not the best rune quality. Although, I think he's got good enough runes to kind of gauge it, but I don't know. Sean B's cool. I like Sean B. Have any of you guys checked out the El Sharion, the new uh, Ifrit? I'm excited as fuck for that dude. He looks so good. Yeah, his first attack has a really good multiplier. and 200 yeah so he's got good multipliers he just uh is not best for full damage probably best for tank off tank at least whatever t my my second tablet I, I don't I didn't want to fucking farm anyways on my main account. I just wanted to do this run and this run only. Don't distract me anymore, second tablet. That's what I'm saying. Charging. This is why I'm recording. I'm recording because I just dropped so many fucking frames. Wind Minotaur. What about Wind Minotaur? Did he get a buff or something? Oh, in the beginning? I wouldn't know. I never used any of the Minotaurs. I hear the fire one's pretty good, though. Well, his passive is really good since it heals half, uh, heals you for half of your damage and max health give you a shield for the damage you've done. The mine with crappy runes, really bad level 20, doing like 7k, having like 7k shield carrying me through giants. Oh, okay. Is it an AoE shield? Or is it just on him?
It's just on him. At least he can make him a little bit more DPS based since he gets so much shield. The first skill taunts. <laughs> give him as little give him as little accuracy as possible and just hope. Is he an HP based monster or does he get damage based on attack? Oh, dude, these guys. Oh, man, you're still alive. Oh, shit, dude. Fuck off. We're gonna make these monsters do what we want them to do. Alright, big push. So we do Feynman once, so we can get the Feynman things. Stop, just stop. I don't, I don't care. I don't care about the LD, okay? Uh, damage base for GP10, he will be very useful since he gives me uh, 30 plus, oh, for wins, nice. Oh, we didn't use the fucking WXP. Oh shit. That sucks. We're not gonna get WXP for this run. Aw, oh, fucking. <gasps> Mr. Programmer, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your time here. Oh, the cord is broken, that's why. It wasn't charging my tablet because the Cord's broken. Alright, well, I'm not fucking with my tablet. I used up all my energy. Return. Use. Double EXP. Monster. No. Challenge. Fast leveling strategy. What is it? Clear with one of your monsters. Luckily, we can manual this. <laughs> we use crystals here, too. Pretty much Feynman is full of crystal usage. If we don't have to though, we're really lucky. Easy peas, man. Oh, this is where we get our revenge runes. And that's why we have to accept these. Because we're going to need one of them. I think we need to auto this. 
Vampire doesn't work as good because it doesn't have better. Uh, it doesn't have good damage output, and we already have support mons that s supplement the sustainability that Vampire would. So we don't use. I don't use Vampire. I only use Revenge in this run. You can't auto? No, you have to auto. That's why I have to use crystals here, because Lapis likes to use her abilities like a doofus. Like she's gonna get torn up by these these um these monsters. She's not even gonna get a turn. And when she does get a turn, she's not gonna use her third because it's on cooldown. But we have to use crystals. We got lucky to get the Inugami because the Inugami survived and was able to get the damage output. Uh, clear path, normal, three monsters, and auto mode. See, it specifically says. Um, what is this? Clear path without you, uh, any friends help using EXP booster. But we do use revenge. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put this over that. So we get a full thing because we're about to put revenge over and lose our um, fatal. If we didn't, we lose our blade though. Now we, um, now we upgrade runes. Boring, boring, boring. Boring upgrading runes, but it's something that needs to be done so and we got crit rate so we're praying for crit rate here crit damage is all right speed is all right so we pray for crit rate this crit rate is more um reliable damage we got more crit, crit rate nice if we could get plus 12 crit rate there would be no difference whatsoever as far as going from blade to revenge come on baby daddy all right speed is all right Baby daddy needs crit rate. That's what I fucking, that's what I said, practically. I love this playlist. This playlist is so good. Oh, nice. Accuracy, too. Um, we want to do that for the mana. Okay, so right now, all we do is Garen Forest Hell. Hell.
crystals. And runes. Bernard could use an energy set. We don't go any further in the in the fast leveling up because it doesn't really benefit us. We could do the next one for the extra mana, but what are we going to use the mana for? We don't really need it, so... It's like a backup strat to do that. Daddy likes. Run depends on a lot of RNG. Um, not as much, actually. Not as much as you think. Because any rune will do. We only use runes for the stat bonuses, for the rune bonus. Runes, the rune set bonuses. If I could get it out of my fucking mouth. fucking speed rune for Bernard. That's sick. That's that's what we fucking more Bernard damage is better. But it's not needed. So we're not relying on the RNG, but we're accepting the RNG. What's up Michael 203467? Or two million three thousand four hundred sixty seven. Yeah, that's true. Um it you definitely benefit from good RNG, but you don't need good RNG. Like I have yet to I mean the only reason I'm behind right now is because I had a huge slip up in the beginning of the run. Um we lost like two minutes in the beginning of the run that just threw everything off kilter. How's it going, Michael? Crystal, usually I don't use all the crystals I get. I only use like 30 crystals in this run. As far as like Feynman goes, um, it was really unlucky that we used that we had to use crystals for um, for giants to get Bernard. We had to use crystals for giants B three. That was really unlucky, but it didn't kill the run. It just we just lost a minute, um, which is always make up a bowl in the big push. As far as I can see into the future, the big push will always be a great place to make up lost time. Because, like, I'm 15 minutes ahead, like, right now. I can see myself saving six minutes right now in the big push. 
Did you reset your account? Um, I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm glad you're great. Um, I did not reset my account. This is the second account that I reset every time I do a run. Um, so yeah, in a sense, I do reset my account, but this isn't my account. Holy shit, I'm getting really fucking good luck, man. What are you doing? I'm kind of confused, to be honest. Alright, so you get an LD scroll from finishing Feynman for the first time. I'm trying to get that LD scroll as fast as possible without using reps, without using money, without using nat fives, and without using events to help. If this account gets an LD Nat 5, I will use a different server to do these runs. And I will keep that Nat 5. And if I get so lucky to get 5 Nat 5s and finish up all the all the servers that I have, because I am using global server on this account, I'm going to give this account away. But the odds of me getting LD and F5s on every single server, almost impossible. <laughs> Hi, Bernard. Goodbye, Bernard. By the way, the big push split ends when I feel like I'm ready to take on Feynman completely. One of the biggest things that I do during the big push is finish uh, Garen Forced Hell so I could get 30 crystals because it costs 10 crystals to reset if you wipe. Um, but it doesn't end after there unless I say it ends after it and I, I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more grinding. XD XD is my literal face right now. It's what it's what I'm looking like. I am not getting any fucking revenge. Is anyone else seeing this? I got an Inugami, right? For the fifth stage? I'm pretty sure I got an Inugami. Which doesn't matter, because I'm not evolving any of my monsters, so it's just going to be used as experience, probably. Getting fucking revenge procs. Are you seeing this? Jeez. Be lucky. Um, it's not.
Can my Shannon and Bernard do it? I don't think so. And this is where the grind starts. We're gonna upgrade uh, runes right now. So we're gonna give him the crit damage rune. There it is. And the speed rune. We're gonna upgrade the speed rune. And if he gets lucky crits, he's gonna hit hard. All we want Bernard to do is to constantly give us a, a speed boost. I think that's enough. Alright, and let's make sure you got runes. No wonder he dies, he has no help. Whatever. Um, is there anything that I want to do to these rooms? I guess I could give you some more defense. <sighs> you need to go make folder. What? What are you saying to me? Yeah, we just do this until we can do it, I guess. We should be able to do it. It's just like one of those luck things. Maybe I'm manual? That's not what I fucking wanted. That's not what I fucking clicked, you dick.
We did it. Crystals, give me all the crystals. Any crystals? No crystals. So we have 83 crystals. I say we start five minutes. Big push is over. So we saved 8 minutes and 30 seconds from Big Push. Big Push is not always going to be that amazing. Actually, it might be that amazing always. It might That might be the new standard for Big Push. If not 6-starring my Shannon works. You guys want to fucking not dicks? Is my lapis faster than Shannon? No. Kimi no Nawa. What is Kimi no Nawa? Oh, it's your name. I have Feynman Farmer if you need. I don't need. I'm doing a challenge. No uh, reps. Thank you, though, Angry Rookie. And thanks for uh, thanks for helping um, explain that, Mr. Program. If I fucking, if I PB, I'm gonna be so pissed. Wait, which bird? Bernard <laughs> or Dion? <laughs> I think Dion's doing really well right now. You're doing Feynman and I'm farming it? Oh, nice. Are you using Lapis in your GB10? Yeah, but while you're doing your um, your challenge, uh, Lapis will be so good for Jupiter. Just make her tanky and she'll steal the attack bar. I mean, the attack bar. Plan on getting a Water Serpent? Okay.
Lapis is my favorite monster. That's why I think I enjoy this run so much, because I'm using my favorite monster. Your final team? Well, like your speed team? Wind Minotaur, Shannon Bernard, Water Serpent, and Konamiya. Oh, okay, I think I know what you mean. What does Water Serpent do again? T, uh, T, two, ooh, fucking words. Two AOE attack, both reduce back bar, but she's really good in despair. Also, damage proportional enemy at max HP. Oh, awesome. Wow, yeah, that's really good. That's really good for a three star kit, I think. Use crystals here. Feels bad, man. Oh, water serpent sounds really good for dragons, too. from here on out, I think. to use two crystals here two, uh, 20 crystals here unlucky dude I haven't gotten any uh, revenge revenge procs either I think that might be the deciding factor okay so we're gonna do this here we're gonna boost that Okay. We're able to do it. I think that was six. Was that six? Yeah, it was six. Okay, so using 20 crystals there isn't that bad. My smoke alarm is going off because it needs a new battery. My dog is losing her shit because of it. She's like, save me, James. Save me. What the? 
What's a revenge proc, and what do I have to do to get one? There's a revenge proc. What did I do though? I don't remember doing anything special to get that. Well, let's stun you because you do damage. You fucking stunned me! You, you dick ass! You have to join a cult for revenge oh okay what is it i believe in i, I believe in anything for violent, revenge and violence fucking cross we have 80 crystals to use we're using them Alright guys, here it is. We're about to fucking PB on a run that we uh, that we were behind in 10 minutes. We were behind 10 minutes in this run. I'm mad about it. Don't worry, that's normal. I think. Dude, these this resistance is fucking unreal. All right, 10 more crystals and we fucking PB. Great. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm so happy that I'm PBing on a run that I was 10 minutes behind. Oh, we only PB'd by 28 seconds. Okay, I'm not that mad about it. Oh shit, you subscribed? Thank you for the subscription, man. Enjoy the emote. It's angry. Here's the emote. Oh, someone gifted you a subscription? Well, hold a second. I'm gonna stop the recording here. <laughs> 